So hello, today I'm going to talk about how to use PCB filter uh, in the PCB layout. So if you have seen my previous videos, then you know that it's a simple voltage regulator, series voltage regulator circuit, which normally I use for different queries and uh, different functions to show you how you can implement. So today I'm going to use the same same PCB layout and then I will show you how you can uh, find out the different component and different text or vias size or let's say the tracks uh, very easily using the PCB filter so to use the PCB filter what you have to do you have to go to here uh, at the right corner of Altium in the PCB panel and then you have to click on PCB filter. So once you click in the PCB filter, the PCB pa filter panel will open. So to use the PCB filter panel, basically this is uh, a filter by by which you can find out the different component vias or the things which are necessary for you on the PCB. If you have like a thousand or two thousand component on your PCB layout, here maybe it's not that much difficult on this layout. To find out the component but if you have if your board is really populated with a lot of components then it's difficult to find out each and everything so in that case you can use this pcb filter so what you have to do first uh, you these are the objects which are all here you can see that like component component body room polygon text track all these are the objects which is already predefined by the altium so altium understand only these ob objects if you put some other objects then it cannot understand so be careful here when you whenever you will uh, define the object then you should use this standard uh, objects name otherwise ultimately will not uh, understand and the second thing is that here the layers so when you are defining the the object let's say for example you wanted to define the you wanted to find out the text which is available on your uh, PCP layout for the component or uh, on the on the layer, then uh, you can def uh, you can def uh, say that okay in object you are looking for the text, but on which layer you can define that particular layer. So these are the layers which are defined, which include uh, component layer as well as electrical and signal layers. Let me show you how you can f uh, find out the text. So what you have to do, you have to write here object and then is equal to, let's say, text. Yeah. So as soon as you write the text, you will see here the different uh, options for text like text height, text kind and text width. But we don't need, you just type text. So it will give you, show you all the text. And later on, we will go step by step how you can find out some specific text if you want, or let's say some specific track. So uh, after writing here, uh, you should uh, um, go to apply to all. And then here, as soon as you apply to all, it will show you all the text available on your uh, PCB. So uh, let me clear this, that you can clear it by pressing the uh, shift C so that's how you can also write here you can find out the vias and just write only via and then enter so it will show you all the vias available on your PCB and then let's say here track enter sorry not track width only track and then enter so it will show you all the tracks okay so the next thing is that what we can do, let's uh, find out the tracks only on uh, the top layer. So let me clear this first by pressing the shift C and then what you have to do, you have to write and uh, layer. I have to define on which layer and that you can define, let's say it's on the top layer. So you have to write top layer. And then when you again apply to press again apply to all so it will show you the tracks which are available so that's how you can find out the tracks so so let me also add the bottom layer or layer
so bottom layer close the bracket So apply so let me clear this first and then apply so here you can see that it's showing me the layer on the top so I don't have any layer at the bottom so let me go to the single so here you can see that but let me let's say uh, let me bring this layer to the to the bottom layer so let me uh, copy this via for example and let me put it here and this one here and let me push it to the bottom layer okay so just like uh, So I'm expecting that it should show me this bottom layer also as soon as I will apply this filter to the PCB. So let me go to the PCB panel and when I will apply. So here you can see that I'm in a single mode. So now I'm in a multi mode. So here you can see that it's showing me on the top layer as well as on the bottom layer. Then uh, let me clear this. So here now what you can do you can add uh, you can also define here the width of the of the track and let me add that also so let's say and say like width that should be be uh, less than so you have you have uh, to choose it you can write it either in define in millimeter or in mils or in inches so you have to write as and then you have to write either mils or mm or in for the inches mm is for the millimeter so let i will write it in millimeter and uh, let's say mm, the width should be like uh, show me the tracks which are having the width uh, less than let's say 0.5 it will show me the tracks uh, whose width is less than uh, 0.5 millimeter so here as soon as i apply i cannot see any because uh, i don't have a track which are which are less than 0.5 millimeter so they are greater than 0.5 millimeter the, the one which i am having here is 0.5 and here is 0.6 so let me go again back to the pcb filter and here uh, let's say it should be uh, less than 0.6 so i'm ex i'm expecting that this should show me this 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 track the about track which is 0.5 millimeter so again reapply and here you can see that it's showing me the showing me the tracks which are have which are less than 0.6 millimeter and if i will increase this to 0.7 then i'm expecting that it should also show me that this this track so let me clear this all the all the tracks i'm in so let me clear this and then reapply so here you can see that so that uh, that is showing me all the tracks so that's how you can you can apply the filter and one more thing i would like to add for example in case if you have the tracks uh, and you wanted to limit the width of the tracks like uh, let's say 0.3 or 0.2 millimeter so in that case you can apply you can use this formula and just put here instead of 7 Point two. So in the next video, maybe I will show you also for how you can find out the text, footprint, package and also the BS. Now, I hope that this video is useful for you. If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.